This is Killian. The date is June 29th. Participant 103. So I understand, or, um, so first of all, what interested you about participating in this study? I was actually looking on Craigslist and I seen it in the, I think it was the volunteers part. Mm hmm. And it looked interesting. It, the part about, I don't know, it made me feel like maybe there was other, there was more than just me out there like that. Okay. Um, so I understand that you had a pregnancy while you were a teenager, and I'm hoping <laughs> you will tell me about that experience. Um, yes, I did. I'm going to ask you some questions about your pregnancy experience now, and then I'll ask you some other questions about your life that might be related to the time when you were pregnant. Um, okay. So tell me about your first pregnancy. There was only one. Only one. Okay. Tell me about that one. Uh, I was pregnant with twins. Okay. How old were you? Um, I hadn't even... I was just fixing to graduate, so I was just like, I was like 16, 17, something like that. Okay. I wasn't 18. Yeah. Um, were you actively trying to get pregnant at the time? No, I wasn't. Um, so what was the outcome? Abortion or raising the children or adopting? I had a miscarriage. You had a miscarriage, okay. So, at the time, how did you feel about becoming pregnant? Uh, I was upset. I didn't know what, me being older, now that I look back on it, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, I'd never felt that way before. I never, I didn't know how to feel. I was upset at myself because I didn't know what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that? Why were you upset with yourself? Because I knew that was the outcome, that me doing that, that I would end up being pregnant. And I was mad at myself because it was like, my whole goal was I wanted to finish high school. I wanted to get my diploma and graduate. And I knew with that going on, I wasn't going to be able to. Okay. Um, so you said that the pregnancy ended in miscarriage. Did you have a plan for yeah. what you were going to do if that did not happen? Oh, I was all the way, I was almost eight months pregnant when I had my miscarriage. Okay. I was in a car accident. Oh, okay. So you were planning to deliver the the babies? Yes, I was planning to take care of the kids on my own. Okay. Um, so how did your family react to your pregnancy? They were happy. They were happy, why? Because they wanted grandkids. Mm hmm Even though the circumstances weren't exactly what you had wanted? No, my mama didn't care for real. Did she say anything? My, all she told me was that she was happy for me. Okay. So what was that like? It sounds like you had a pretty different perspective on... Your pregnancy. When I when I when I first got pregnant, I wasn't happy at all. I was upset because mm -hmm. I knew with my mama not caring and not really, she didn't really care what happened with me. I knew I was gonna have to deal with it on my own. And I was gonna have to do things on my own and figure out things that I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know what this was. I was having to do everything on my own, mm -hmm. and I haven't even graduated high school, so I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Like I had to get I had to get an aunt of mine or something to show me how to sign up for insurance so I could start going to the doctor. I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know to do that. Okay. So you told your aunt? Yeah, my mama did. Okay. Um, and she helped you figure out how to do health insurance and how to get to the doctor? Yeah, she took me to my doctor appointments and everything. Okay. How did she react? 
to finding out? She was happy. She was happy because it was going to be a baby and everything. But then again, she understood where I came from because she knew that my main goal in my head was I wanted to graduate because nobody in my family ever graduated. They never finished high school. And I was determined I was going to do it. Okay. Um, what about friends? Did you tell any of your friends? Um, how Everybody you knew I was in high school. I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how did people react? Uh, some people, like, made fun of me mm -hmm. because I was pregnant. I was in high school. And then my real close friends, they just, you know, they just asked questions, and they acted like they were happy. Okay. And did you tell people pretty early on, or did you wait for them to find out when you started showing? When I first found out I was pregnant, I told my family. Now, the people at school and everything, they just, they saw it. Okay. They figured it out. Okay. And how early did you find out? I was, I think they said I was nine weeks when I found out. Okay. Um, so some women know who the person was or even the specific sexual encounter that got them pregnant. Um, do you know who that person was or remember that situation? Yeah, I know who it was. Okay. Can you tell me about that person? They were, they were just a friend. Mm-hmm. So That's all it was. They were just a friend of mine. So you weren't dating at the time? No. Do you know the specific sexual encounter that led to the pregnancy? No, not really. Okay. So, you two were just friends, but you were hooking up sometimes? Say what now? So you two were just friends, but you were hooking up sometimes? Yeah, because it was like... It was like, I didn't know about it. I didn't know what it was, and it was like, that's who I had lost it to. So... I was, I stuck with that person, because that's who I felt comfortable with. Okay. Can you tell me more about that? Like, what was that like? What was your relationship like? Um, be dead honest with you, I really don't want to talk about it, because that person ended up dying. Uh, okay. Um, how old was that person at the time? At the time? Yeah. They were the same age I was. They were like 16, 17. Okay. Um, so nearly any young woman, regardless of sexual orientation, can get pregnant. Um, we're interested in learning more about your sexual orientation, um, so now I'm going to ask you a few questions about that. Okay. Uh, so some people describe their sexual orientation using a label like heterosexual, bisexual, lesbian, or queer. Um, mm -hmm. What label do you use to describe your current sexual orientation? Um, I don't really label it, though, because I don't, the way I see it, it's not no label on it. You, my whole thing is you can't help who you love. Mm -hmm. You can't. To me, you can't help who you love, so I don't put no label on it. Okay. Who are you currently attracted to? Men or women or more than one gender? Right now? Yes. Both. Okay. Um, and who have you had sexual contact with in your life? Uh, men, women, more than one gender? Say that one more time. Who have you had sexual contact with in your life? Men or women or more than one gender? Both. Both? Uh, more men and, or more women or just pretty even? More, more men. It's only been one woman. Okay. So... Some people's identities or attractions or partners change over time. Um, is your current sexual orientation different from the time before your pregnancy? Yes. How so? Uh, at the time, I was straight. Now I'm not. <laughs> All right. Um, why do you think your sexual orientation has changed since then? To be honest with you, I really don't know because... I mean, it was just, I met, I met this person, and I, 
it was like I started liking them, and then she started doing for me and my kids, and she started acting. She started, my kids started calling her daddy and everything, so mm-hmm. then it was like I fell in love with her. All right. Um, and when did that happen? That was November 2016. Okay. Um, So now I'm going to ask you a few more questions about what was happening in your life before your pregnancy. Okay. Um, So what were some of the things that were happening in your life around then? Uh, I was... And my grandparents had raised me. I had just went and lived with my real mother and found out who she was, and she had adopted me back from my grandparents. Okay. So I was in a new environment that I didn't know and new people and everything, not what I was raised around. Mm Mm-hmm. What was that like? Horrible. Can you elaborate? Because I don't don't, don't do good with meeting new people. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, can you recall anything really good that was happening in your life around that time? Um, I mean, I I can actually say that me going and meeting new people and getting a new life at the time, I was upset because I didn't know, I didn't know people and everything, but once I got to know people, I was actually happier than I was before. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Because when, because when I was living with my grandparents and everything, I didn't get to do nothing. I didn't get to be around people like that. But then when I went and my real mother adopted me, it was like I had a freedom that I didn't know I had. All right. Um, did you still get to see your grandparents a lot or... Was it pretty much you? No, ever since my mother, my ever since my mother readopted me back, I haven't seen them or spoke to them. Okay. Did you move far distance-wise to be with your mother again? No. Okay. Um. So, can you recall anything particularly stressful that was happening in your life around that time? Just trying to finish high school. That was the most stress I had at the time. Fair enough. Um, did you have any experience with bullying around that time? No, not really. No? Okay. So, everyone deals with stress in different ways. Um, what are some of the ways you dealt with stress before your pregnancy? I would use, I used to listen to music a lot. Okay. Um, did you ever use alcohol or drugs as a way to escape? No, not while I was in high school, I didn't. Okay. Do you deal with stress differently now as compared to when you were pregnant? Oh, yeah, way different because I actually have kids now. Okay. Um, what do you do now? I go and, like, go for a walk or be to myself for a little bit till I feel myself calm down. Okay. Um, and you said... The pregnancy ended in miscarriage? Yes, it did. Can you tell me some of the circumstances around that? Uh, I was in the car with a friend of mine, and I was, like, seven months, I think I was almost eight months pregnant, and I was supposed to be riding with her. She was going to a friend's house, and I rode with her, and she, we got into a car accident. Okay. Were you injured significantly? Uh, my stomach, my whole front of my body hit the front of the car, and the front of the car was smashed. I was basically stuck between the seat and the front of the car. Ooh. Okay. All right. Um, so I have just a few more questions before we're finished with the interview. Okay. Um, how has your life been impacted overall by having a pregnancy as a teen? Really, to be honest with you, when I got pregnant and I was scared and everything, it made me a more responsible, it made me look back when I did get pregnant with my son that I have now. Mm-hmm. When I got pregnant with him, I knew instantly, okay, I got to do this, 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 and this. I got to get this together. I 
I was more prepared. I knew what I had to go through, and I and it made me a more responsible parent. Okay. Was was your son planned? Did you plan to have him? No. Okay, so it was a surprise. Yeah, it was a surprise. Okay. Um, how old were you when you had him? I had him in 2012, so I was 22. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you'd like for people to know about your pregnancy as a teen? Um, let's see. If I was to sit here and talk to a young adult that was pregnant as a teen, I'd tell them, uh, don't let it get you down. <laughs> The way I, the way I can say it is, don't let it get you down. I've learned the hard way through life. God put you God put you through certain things in your life for a reason, mm -hmm. for you to either learn a lesson, or for you to you got to learn something out of it. Mm -hmm. And everybody goes through everything in their life for a reason. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for being a part of this study. Um, I'm You're welcome. I'm going to turn off the recorder now, and then we're going to switch to the survey.